Hi, I'm Ned Pelger of ConstructionKnowledge.net, a website focused on helping construction supervisors connect, learn, and advance. As a young man working in construction, I came across this concept almost 25 years ago and I found it useful. I teach classes and I ask construction supervisors and want to be construction supervisors, what is the secret of success? Now, how would you answer that? What would you say? What is the secret of success? Well, hard work is, is often the answer I get. And I think we can all agree that hard work is a component of success, but we know people that have worked tremendously hard and haven't been successful. My favorite answer is choosing your parents carefully. <laughs> you know, that's a great thing to have great parents. Uh, you get good solid teaching, you develop good habits, you get connections for schooling and jobs, but we've all, again, seen people that have had great parents and led disappointing lives. Luck is an answer I get sometimes, and luck is, you know, has a role in success, but it's not really central success. The answer is surprisingly simple. The secret of success is successful people do the things unsuccessful people don't want to do and won't do. Let me say that again. Successful people do the things unsuccessful people don't want to do and won't do. Study any successful person and you'll see that they work hard, but they work hard at doing the right things, doing the hard things. Now let me define what I'm calling a success. Successful people achieve their goals and they live with joy. Wealth and power aren't necessarily a sign of success. They often are. Uh, a successful person learns and grows. The secret of success has helped me tremendously in my life. Many times I look at a task and I just don't feel like doing it. It's easier and more fun to just not do it. In fact, that should be the slogan for couch potatoes. Just don't do it. But I think about this principle. I think about the secret of success and it helps me decide how to live, what to actually do every day. Okay, let me give you an example. A young uh, construction supervisor named Pete works as a foreman for a general contractor, and he's working on a three-story office building project. Now, as any foreman knows, there are more things to do in a day than there are hours to get them done. Questions from the crews, bickering between trades, dealing with an owner who can't make decisions, and just a host of other things fill the day. So the footings are starting to go in, and the structural steel shop drawings arrive. Now, these shop drawings have been reviewed by the project manager in the office, they've been reviewed by the structural engineer, and Pete really struggles to understand steel shop drawings. He dislikes sitting down and trying to check each measurement. He doesn't want to do it. He doesn't have to review those shop drawings, yet he may catch an error that was missed by others. He may avoid putting the footings in the wrong place, or by studying the shop drawings, he may figure out something that helps the erection of the steel and avoids a problem where the crane and the crew are all waiting. So Pete thinks about the concept of the secret of success, that the secret of success is successful people do the things unsuccessful people don't want to do and won't do. Pete takes the time. He puts in the effort and he reviews those shop drawings. He develops the habit of doing the things he knows he should do even when he doesn't want to. Construction company owners and managers love to see this kind of response and they reward it. It's in their best interest to do so. So please think about this, the secret of success as you work this week. Remember, successful people do the things unsuccessful people don't want to do and won't do. I hope you found this short video helpful. For more resources, please visit constructionknowledge.net. Thank you.